you all like to come down and talk with me for a little bit? All my friends. Good morning. How are we? Good, good. What else we got? Excellent. Perfect. And then there's Mark Eden, who's just glorious. Well, my friends, today, the church is going to have a business meeting. Does that sound like fun? No. No? <laughs> well, not everything in life is fun, but it's important to do. And did you know that the first ever, first ever, ever, ever church business meeting was recorded in the Bible? How about that? That's pretty cool, right? That happened then. So one of the important things when you have a business meeting is called an agenda. Do you know what an agenda is? No, well, I'm gonna tell you. Agenda is a list of items to be discussed at a formal meeting or a plan of things to be done or problems to be addressed. Sure, well, let's focus on the second one. I think that's more interesting anyway. Um, and so I thought that we could help the church out, the church capital C, meaning not just this church, but all churches, and we could help them write their agenda, which is here, I'm gonna leave this out here so we remember what it is we're supposed to be thinking about. The plan of things to be done or problems to be addressed. Will somebody hold that for me? What should be the agenda for the church. What are some of the plans of things that they should do or problems that the church should address, do you think? Well, let's put our thinking caps on. What should the church do? What's that? Pray, did you know that the first thing on the church's agenda is to pray? So we're gonna put that first, okay? What else should the church do or problems should it address in the world? We should sing. All right, Elaine, we're going to have you lead the singing portion of the church's agenda this afternoon. <laughs> She's the moderator. She runs the business meeting, but she doesn't like to sing in front of people, so that was kind of a joke. What else should the church do? Problems to be addressed in the world what should we focus on, do you think? Mm. How about care for people who need to be cared for? They could be hungry. They could be homeless. They could be what? Africans. Africans. World hunger. World hunger. So we're going to put care for people should be on the church's agenda. What else? Have fun. Did you hear that? Have fun. Should be on the church's agenda. How would you grade y'all? You get an A in fun around here, B, what, how you doing? A. Especially if you join the choir, yes. you're gonna have an A. Okay, uh, what else should the church do, do you think? Do you wanna phone a friend? Do you know what I mean when I say that? Yeah, yeah let's ask them. What, what should be on the church's agenda, my friends? Clean up the earth. Clean up the earth. Work for justice. Bring God's message. I'm going to say also that message is very particular about love and grace. Grow the beloved community. Never lose faith. Never lose faith. And if you do, you know what? You have a bunch of people around here to help you with that. Because it happens sometimes. You get overwhelmed. Anything else? Read the, Bible. Read the Bible. I missed that one. Invite people. 
invite people. My agenda's looking a little crazy. Is that good? You think so? You think we should have a lot of things to do, right? Because it's really important that we, we are the church, right? In order to do all these things, right? Because can one person do all these things? Probably not. Probably not. But when we pool together our resources, whether it's our money, our time, our talent, our energy, we can maybe make a difference in some of these areas. What do you think? Yeah, pretty cool. We're talking about energy. Yep. Yeah, so if we could just plug into Mark Eden, you know, like an outlet, yeah, we could get all the energy that we needed just from Mark Eden is what, is what Jevin is saying. That's all we have to do. So you guys figure out a way to do that, you know, and maybe you who are in your 90s will start to feel like you're in your 60s. I don't know. That'd be cool. All right, so um, Elaine, here we go. The church's agenda. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. You have really helped us today try to figure out what the church should be doing. I really appreciate that. Um, and I really like have fun, and I know that you do that every week with Miss Chris, who I'm so grateful for, um, and the other church leaders who come and help out. So shall we have a prayer? You, we do need to find an outlet for him, but you know what? That's all right. He just is just glorious, just the way he is, and uh, yeah, we delight in him, and he'll keep growing up, and he'll figure out someday maybe how to sit still and that kind of thing, do you think? No, and if not, that's okay, right? Yeah, that is. All right, should we have a prayer, or should we just keep talking in this? Keep going. We should probably pray. Okay, yeah. He says I should probably get on with the worship service. Okay. Let us pray, my friends. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks today for the church and for the agenda that you place upon our hearts to do all these things, to pray, to sing, to care for people, to clean up the earth, to work for justice, to bring God's messages of love and grace, to grow the beloved community, to never lose faith, to read the Bible, to invite people, and really to have fun doing it all. We give you thanks for this and for these children and for this community who continues to grow because of them. May you bless them and be with them in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, have fun. I'll see you later. Thank you very much. Agenda created.